So I just read the news that Archbishop Desmond Tutu has just passed away and it made me remember the one subject which I know only or the one subject I know best, doctrine uh, of, of Desmond Tutu. Uh, unfortunately, this is the way life works, is that when, when you leave, what we call your legacy is what we remember about you. And so although when you actually go like on the internet and everything, you look like at his quotations and stuff you might there comes a time uh, when we need to stop putting people out of the river we need to go in stream and find out why they are falling in there you know says so you know help people kind of an idea one other particular one this one i do really like he says um don't raise your voice okay improve your argument Solid. <laughs> there was something that happened in 2017. Desmond Tutu labeled a particular flag group, a group of people, and he said it was the new form, apartheid kind of a of kind of a version. Uh, yeah, I don't speak about those things. You know, they have favoritism online on social media, and so we are not going to give the algorithm that one. <laughs> and in 2016, it was shown that, according to his foundation, that he was an activist now for this particular group of people and so forth. But I found a very interesting article here in 2016 of May 24, written by The Guardian, okay? This particular article here shows, uh, it says the daughter of one of the most uh, best known Christian leaders, question that part, has given up her right to officiate as a priest in South Africa following the marriage to her female partner it says that Mpotutu, um, whose father Desmond Tutu won the Nobel Peace Prize ta -ra -ram, ta -ta 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 -ta. so it kind of tells you some of the reasons this happened in 2016 2017 he is active viso <laughs> he is active viso over there a lot of times people fold particularly when it comes to doctrine they fold when it starts coming close to them or they they fold to doctrine because it has now shown itself on their side of life because then later on he went on to write a book with the Dalai Lama and so forth and you remember that book happiness happiness so you will then realize that some articles have, li have even started putting that as one of their headlines to say he is in their eyes they remember him for being an activist for <laughs> you understand and so what legacy you really leave okay it's the things that you are known firmly to stand on there's no doubt about that and that's what we are seeing here is that he they remember him for that they don't remember him for preaching the gospel he has the, the title archbishop literally eat into stone when it comes to his name but that still follows him the doctrines of a man follow you. They follow what line of life you actually start to live out. Okay, 2016 we see something, and then 2017 we see something, and then now we see the activists after he passes speaking about him a certain way. Why? It's because of what legacy, biblical legacy the man left. Not remembered as a preacher, just they remember him as an activist. Hmm. Did he not read Romans chapter number one? I don't know. <laughs> Go read Romans chapter one. Don't ask me what Romans chapter one says. Go read Romans chapter one and then come back and tell me what you think. But if your doctrine now leans towards people over the, the message of the gospel, that's where you have problems. But that's my thoughts. My thoughts is that what he, what he truly believed or what he truly leaned to that's what they remember him for. So then, uh, personally, uh, you can push whatever narrative you want to push out there. The narrative that I remember is that. It's, it's that which they actually even remember him for. When man then dies here, okay, and you, you, you only remember something that has nothing to do with what I have tagged myself for, okay, what was I doing all along? What was Mandem doing all along? That becomes the question. And so 
uh, we can take from it what we take from it is the reality show with the daily Christian commentary videos. We do daily Christian. Yeah, we try to leave emotions out of it so that we can make clear on the subjects of the doctrines which people are out there teaching. It's Ricky and I'll see you on a later on. Uh, the one I remember is the one that they are saying they remember him for. The rest I know nothing about. <laughs>